Hi everyone, Geometry Nodes made it very easy for us to make an animation like this. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to make this animation so let's get started. I started my project by preparing these little green icospheres. Also, for the star, there are similar yellow icospheres. You see them as solid lines because there are so many of them. Their high number makes you think of them as a solid line. I'll tell you how to do this trick later. So, I've created those two little icospheres. The green one is for the tree, and the yellow one is for the star. Let's see how the material is made. I'll select the first icosphere and press on this material tab. The emission color is set to green. The emission strength is set to a higher value like 10. Similarly, for the other icosphere the color is yellow, and the strength is 15. To make the emission clearer, it's better to use a dark background, so go to the World tab, and set the color to be black instead of the default gray color. Also, go to the Render Properties tab and check Bloom. Now you can create any object so we can add the geometry nodes. In my case, I added the geometry nodes to the default cube. The cube itself doesn't appear because I didn't use its input node. The node setup consists of two branches to create and control both the tree and the star. This first branch here controls everything about the tree. And this second branch controls everything about the star. Here is the output node. This join geometry node is used to join both branches so we can see the geometry of both the star and the tree at the same time. As you can see, the branch of the tree is connected like this and the branch of the star is joined like this. The final result of the join geometry node is connected to the output node. For the tree, I inserted this spiral node. You set the settings to get a suitable size and shape. The animation of the tree is controlled by the number of rotations. At frame 1, the value here is very low. At frame 250, there are higher number of rotations. This way you can make the animation of the tree. Then, we use the point instance node to distribute our green icosphere along the curve of the tree. You select the name of the icosphere from here. Then, you connect it to the join geometry node, then to the output node. I think it's so easy so far. Let's see how to make the star. First, you add a star node and play with the settings here to get a nice looking star. Then, you add a point instance node and select the yellow icosphere. After doing so, you will see a very few number of yellow icospheres, that's because the curve of the star has a few points or vertices, each vertex on the curve has its corresponding yellow icosphere, we need to increase the count or the number of the icospheres to make them look like a solid line, this can be achieved by subdividing the curve so it has many vertices or points. So, after the star node, add a curve subdivide node. Increase the number of cuts until they look like solid lines. When you create the star, it won't be automatically placed on top of the tree, so I use this transform node to edit the location, rotation, and the scale. As you can see, the star rotates around the z-axis. So, at frame 1, I set the z-rotation to be 0. At frame 250, I increase it to a suitable value. You may have noticed that, at the beginning of the animation, there are these inner triangles. This can be done by animating the twist value of the star node. At frame 1, the value is 180 degrees. At frame 150, the value is 0. This is the final node setup. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to get the upcoming tutorials, don't forget to subscribe, have a nice day, bye.